And here tonight, first a man facing dozens of criminal charges after a crash with a school bus in Nelson County was back in front of a judge today, and we are there. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us. It's our top story. I'm Doug Profit. Community members keeping a close eye on a possible plea deal. Ricardo Gray is accused of stealing a vehicle and then leading police on a chase that ended with him crashing right into that school bus. No one was hurt, thankfully. Jose Alonzo and photojournalist Emma Gefter were in the courtroom as a judge made a decision on the plea. At the Nelson County Justice Center, 29-year-old Ricardo Gray was back in court facing 50 separate criminal charges, the majority of them for wanton endangerment. None of these charges qualify as violent offenses under the new or old establishment. Gray's attorney is defending him from new legislation that could alter his case. The sheriff's department says Gray led them on a chase in a stolen vehicle that didn't stop until he slammed into a school bus packed with children. The Commonwealth attorney made a plea deal with Gray of a one-year jail sentence and five years of probation. There's been no change in circumstances other than the uh, bit of public attention we've received. Therefore, I believe the plea agreement should be honored and entered today. Parents of the children on the bus were invited to potentially speak in court. That did not end up happening, but we did speak with one father who witnessed the crash that put his two children in danger. You, you managed to steal a car, you outrun the cops, you take a bus out, you endanger, there was 38 kids on the bus, then my two kids. Kids that walk, I had three, but two of them was in harm's way. Them two, and you only get a year? It just doesn't seem fair. The Safer Kentucky Act includes revisions to carjacking within the state. The judge wants prosecutors and the defense to determine if Gray's alleged crime falls under the Safer Kentucky Act since it was committed before the act was implemented. The law also says that fleeing of any police charges are not to be probated. So what the attorneys are arguing over is whether or not that can be applied to Mr. Gray or not. The court could not determine Gray's parole eligibility. The judge continued the case to a later date to allow attorneys to discuss this situation. In Nelson County, Jose Alonso, WHAS 11, on your side. Well, the decision on the plea deal is scheduled to come on November 13th.